There is no ghosts. They don't exist. They never existed. Or maybe they did. There was an entire squad of them. Or no, no way, no. That's highly unlikely. But if they existed, ghosts would pilot Orochi. Or something else. In space tech archives, there is a very little information on ghosts, which indicates that they are not connected to space tech. Or it indicates exactly opposite. Actually, I don't know why I began that. Ghosts do not exist. I repeat, do not exist. Period. Lynn Decano and Jet Parks were competing since school. They both became mercenaries. They took the same contracts and fought for the same leads. But one day, Kyle Rogers hired them both, so they had to work together. They got closer. Something sparked between them. And then they parted ways. Linda went on a terrific adventure. Icarus agents are still chasing her over that. And Jet? We'll get to that later. Boris is hired by shady guys to do shady work, be it hacking, espionage or hit jobs. Conventional morals do not concern him one bit. He only cares about doing his job to the letter as long as it pays. Now, after infiltrating a mercenary group to assassinate a target we do not talk about, he stayed there undercover until further notice, as per his contract. He's still waiting for a signal, and as a mercenary he's pretty good. Kang got into his first robot when he was 10. At 14, he already was a professional mercenary. For him, fighting is not just a way to make money, but a meaning of life as it is. Nobody knows what Kang is up to when he is not piloting. Some say he lives alone on some island and makes awesome old sculptures. Chester родился на земле, в бедном районе города, название которого уже никто не помнит. Он возглавил шайку беспризорник, избежал с ними на Марс после катаклизма. Взятки и поддельные документы помогли команде Честера устроиться в колонии DSC. Когда вскрылся обман, Честер и старики из его банды уже летели к станции Янди. Там он провернет еще одно дельце. Johanna was about to get dishonorably discharged due to assaulting her commanding officer. She refused to fire upon a crowd of unarmed civilians, which, to be fair, is against the interfaction conventions, but that particular officer didn't care. She escaped together with said civilians and managed to survive on the wasteland of Earth before getting picked up by a Merc group. Icarus engineers created androids to do heavy work on Mars, but those androids were also in high regard among hackers. APPM-3TR, or just AppMeter, got stolen, reprogrammed, and sold on the black market. Not so long ago, he was sent on a suicide mission with a team of other pilots. There, he was running distraction drones. It completely wiped out his batteries. Alexander was born in a family of aristocrats. When he was in the Prime Soviet Yandy, Alexander had everything. Ресурсы, авторитет и отличная коллекция роботов. А потом его ограбили. Его же слуги вместе с какими-то ушлыми стариками. Александр лишился состояния и почти всех роботов, включая чудесного позолоченного Локи. Интересно, где он теперь? DC Army Vet and Instructor is well known for his strictness and ruthlessness towards cadets. His students get the highest grades, though. Jack's robot is an old strider, which he can expertly use to put even the newest robots to shame. 